um, consent calendar. All items are considered routine or implemented earlier council action and may be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion unless requested by a council member or staff, and I believe our city attorney would like to say something regarding one of these uh, items. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, uh, thank you. The record uh, should reflect that council members uh, Medina and Salazar are, have been recused from this item because one of the uh, previous alternatives had been to locate the emergency shelters uh, within 500 feet of, of where they live, and so that's why they are recused on this item. If a council member does wish to pull the item, they can they can certainly do that, um, but uh, there's there's no need for them to to leave the room if the record will reflect that they're not voting on that particular one. So okay. you're saying we can take had we talked, we had this all planned out. I would have jumped the gun. So uh, well, sorry, I thought are that you was, saying that, was that we should approve the? Vice Mayor and I should be voting yes on the entire consent calendar with that item included, or are you saying it should be withdrawn and then voted on separately? No, we uh, we talked with the clerk and she'll, the minutes will reflect uh, that the two of you would be recused from voting on that item, but your yes votes, your affirmative votes, if that's the case, on the rest of the consent calendar would be clearly reflected in the minutes. Okay. Okay. Any other uh, items on the consent calendar? Any action on the consent calendar? Move to approve. Second. There's a motion and a second uh, to approve the consent calendar on the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. And I believe we do have uh, Jimmy Tan who would like to say something. Sorry. Good evening, Honorable Mayor and members of the City Council. Um, Jimmy Tan, City Engineer. Um, one of the items in the consent calendar is the, um, the roadway closure for Whitman Way. Um, SFPC is currently constructing two large diameter pipelines, uh, 54 and 66 inch pipelines within their easements uh, crossing Whitman Way into Shelter Creek condos and are requesting a road closure be between Shelter Creek Lane and Cortland Drive to safely construct the pipelines and expedite construction activities. Uh, the construction will require about 10 to 20 feet of excavation to remove the existing pipeline and uh, installation of their shoring and, and their new pipelines. Post roadway closure time will be from 9 a.m. to 3:30 p.m. Monday through Thursday, Monday through Fridays, and the, the anticipated closure dates are from June 22nd to 26, uh, July 6th to the 10th, July 13th to the 17th, as well as 420 to the 24th. Uh, the roads will be reopened daily after 3:30 p.m. And the, clo the closure date noted in the staff report will need to be changed from 6:15, uh, July 15th to 19th to the 22nd to 26th because we want to provide adequate um, time adequate you know, time for construction and notice to the residents. The two message boards will be on site to inform the residents in advance of the closure, one near the intersection of Genevieve and Hawthorne and the other at Whitman Way and Cortland Drive. And SFPC will also be notifying residents and property owners within the boundary uh, area uh, by San Bruno Avenue, Shelter Creek Lane, Highway 2 280, uh, Interstate 280, and, uh, and Skyline 35 uh, tomorrow upon approval tonight, which we just did. So, uh, residents driving along Genevieve Avenue will be routed to uh, Shelter Creek Lane to, towards San Bruno Avenue, and residents within Madison, Cortland, and Rosewood Drive will be routed you know, to San Bruno Avenue through P Princeton. Uh, one emergency lane access will be provided through the construction uh, uh, for you know, police and fire if needed. Uh, the residents are recommended to look out for detour routes within the area. And for more information and updates about this, uh, this closure, residents can call the 24-hour answering service at 866-973-1476 or go to the SFPC website at uh, www.sfwater.org forward slash peninsula. Thank you. All right, thank you. I, I know that this is a huge project for SFPUC, and I, my concern, and I think you, uh, you clarified it there, is uh, plenty of signage, right? Real, and you're doing mailers to the old neighborhood and everything, too. All right, thank you very much. 